Which way is the pub? This way. That way, let's go. Cheers. Nice dinner tonic to, to go with the barbecue. Yeah. Welcome to our channel. We are Kath, Sue, Archie and Fudge. And we are well into our second year of full-time van life. We love exploring the UK and sharing the little gems we find, choosing where we stay to suit our love of the outdoors and making the most of our retirement together. Well, good morning, everyone. Now, you may not recognise where I am, but we're back at my mum and dad's caravan near Silverdale. And the reason we're here is we're meeting some friends. In fact, my friend that I went to school with that I've known since I was about eight years old. And her and her husband are coming up to join us. They're gonna stay at the caravan. We're, we're elsewhere on the site, but not too far away, because this will be our party place for the next few days. Well, as far as we ever party. And we'll, you know, we'll let you into the things we get up to whilst we're here. This is what right. mum and dad call the Madgemobile. <laughs> Named after Benny Dorms. Any invited in? So, good evening. Uh, De Debbie and Phil arrived earlier today and we haven't done such m much filming this afternoon because we've, we've had a barbecue with my parents whilst they, they were still here. But it's been an absolutely gorgeous, really sweltering day today. So we're now heading down to the beach. We may still be down there at sunset because the sun is really going down. But it's still really, really warm and that really hot, humid warm. Tide is very, very rarely ever in here, or certainly not in far enough to you get to the water, because you can you can walk for a couple of miles before you get there. There we are, beautiful view of Markham Bay. Where we're looking at the moment is uh, round about uh, Grange Over Sands. That general direction where we're looking now is round about Blackpool. As we can see, the dogs don't like the drone. <laughs> I'm not sure whether you saw that drama, uh, but we had another Fox Red Lab join us, a young one. Archie and Fudge got very excited with the drone again, and there was lots of people holding them whilst I landed it. Taking off was easy because it goes up quickly, but landing it is always a bit challenging when the dogs are there. But we managed. And look, look at that beautiful view behind us. Morning everyone. So I'm now in the car with Debbie, Phil and of course Sue and we're off to a place called Fellfoot. What about Archie and Fudge? Oh yeah, Archie and Fudge are in the boot and we're off to a place called Fellfoot which is at the southern tip of Lake Windermere and we're hoping to be able to swim. Debbie, did you bring your bikini? Oh. Oh, you forgot sure. it. We've not gone too far. <laughs> Have enough, you got, though. You've got your trunks though, haven't you Phil? I've got the gear shorts, yes. Oh, fantastic. Well, we've arrived at Fellfoot and it's surprisingly busy. In fact, the car park was nearly full. But we've got a spot and we're heading off to see what it's like at the side of the lake. Right. Where are my glasses? Just near this door. Yeah. See that stone? Right, next one. Next stone. That one. This one. No. So I'm at the southern tip of Lake Windermere and it's surprisingly warm here. I don't think I've ever been in Lake Windermere actually when it's felt so warm and Felfoot is incredibly busy. How's your ice cream going down there? So ice cream's all done and we're now heading back to the car and I think we're going back to the van to get some lunch. Made it back all in one piece 
and uh, well I'm going to get my swimming stuff out, hang it up to dry and get a nice cold glass of beer. I've been asked by Julie, is that right? By Julie. Julie wanted to know how we uh, keep the dogs cool in the van. So this is how we do it. This is a cool jacket. You soak it in water and you put it on. Right, so Archie, come on, you've got to play now, mate. Come here, Archie, come here. Come here. Archie, come on, come on, come here. Okay, I know, you, I know you're not camera shy and you want to see it. Come on, come on. You love this, remember. Look happy. Look happy because you're on camera. Oh, look at that. That's going to make you feel so lovely and warm, isn't it? Or cold, even. <laughs> cool. Come on. Let me get to the other side. Come on, let me turn, let me turn you around get to this side. Oh, hang on, hang on. Don't sit down, don't sit down. So there you go, that's how you do it. So the jacket you've just seen is specially made for dogs. It's designed to be soaked into water and then put on the dogs. It's made by rough wear and of course what happens is once the, the jacket's on it's wet and then it evaporates, the water evaporates and that has a cooling effect. The difference for Archie is he's either sitting there panting or he's actually lying there comfortably. So we like it. Thumbs up. Well, good morning, everyone. We are, we've survived uh, yesterday, which was a very hot day, and we're now cooking breakfast. There's a, 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 an expert chef in the background doing his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. Phil and I and Debbie are going for a walk. We're going to walk to Arnside, which is a nice country walk. Take us about an hour and a half. Sue has stayed behind with Archie and she's going to meet us, hopefully at a pub, uh, at a pub uh, in about an hour and a half's time and bring the old man with her. This is uh, going to be hopefully a nice country uh, walk, mainly through woods so we can keep uh, Fudge cool because Fudge is with us and uh, well, we might see you along the way or we might see you when we get there. Just stopped briefly because Sue is using an app called Coover to ensure Phil's car for just a short period of time so she can drive down to the pub and meet us. We should have done it before we left because now we're in a fairly rural place with limited signal and now trying to download an app to approve Sue's use of Phil's car. Well, not me of course, but Phil. So I've just found out that Debbie and Phil have walked over here before and uh, there's a picture of Debbie with this backdrop on a day that looked as glorious as it is today. So we're going to try and do a reconstruction. Right, where's the picture? See whether we've managed to find the same spot. Tell the motorhome mum's viewers about that viaduct. It's an outside viaduct. <laughs> and I drive <laughs> over there regular. You know, <laughs> this is your favourite. On the trains. This is your favourite. Uh, My favourite route. Well, it's not hard to see why it would be a favourite route, is it? When you've all got... around here, all the way to Grange over Sands over there. So we're heading to the pub then. Which way's the pub? This way. That way, let's go. finished a few beers at the pub and Sue's come to collect us come on, come and quick, we're quick. heading back off back to the shack. Life is a cabaret old chum. Can you broom? It's time. Uh, it's 
we walk round and round the penny arcade. Just ring the bell on the big banger town. Yes. Nice gin and tonic to, to go help. with the barbecue. Yeah. Kills you down. The secret with barbecue is you just keep turning things. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what all the top chefs say? That's what I'm not top chef. <laughs> smells delicious. <laughs> Well, good evening everyone and cheers. So last night we said our final goodbyes to Debbie and Phil and we left early this morning from Holgate's with destinations en route. Now I've been back to Bluefix today so I'm, I'm currently now at, back at Pearlbrook Farm. I've been to Bluefix, you'll note from a, a video or so ago I said that we were having some early teething problems and Bluefix has uh, agreed we could go back. They've changed out the controller and everything's working fine. Well, I'm now in the woods, just off the back of Pearlbrook Farm. And as you can see, they're quite dense. They're good footpath, but they're quite dense. And the dogs just love it. And it's nice and cool here. Uh, it's a bit steep for the old man, but we won't be going far. Just enough for them to I don't know, stretch their legs a little bit, stay cool, and then we'll get back to the van. Well, good morning, everyone. So we stayed last night at the Crown Inn, which is just outside Leamington Spa. We had a lovely meal here last night. And it's not particularly early now, but we're now going to head off. We're going to be staying in Hay on Wye for a few days uh, before we start our uh, adventure into Wales. We decided we were going to try and find some, somewhere to walk the dogs en route. And we've come to a lovely country park. Well, at the moment, it's not that lovely because we're just in the car park. I'm sure we'll find some loveliness as we, uh, as we go on our walk. And one thing I've forgot to mention about this place is there's a reasonable sized car park and it's free. Fudge has decided to go and find some obviously very muddy water. Now we're just hoping that there's a dog wash near the cafe. And this is what's available at the country park. I'm gonna grab myself a coffee. Dogs are very well catered for here, look. So I've managed to pick myself up a coffee, a nice latte, and as you can see, there's all sorts going on at this place. It's a hive of activity. I notice the cyclists here, runners here. So there's probably a good route for both, and then they come back and have a coffee at the... You can either sit inside um, at one of the tables, and there's food as well, or you can do as I've done. Get yourself a takeaway and head off for your next destination which in our case is a supermarket. Well, we did manage to get to the supermarket and then escape, and we've made it to Hay. So I hope you'll join us next week in Hay on Wye when we explore this beautiful little town. Uh, otherwise, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Think about giving us the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, then please subscribe. Don't forget to ding the little bell. Then YouTube will notify you every time we post a new video. Otherwise, See you next week.